Killed that butt on accident. Me too. Whoop. I just, I just did. I just killed him on accident right now. By accident. All right. Quake was fun. Maybe we'll do the expansion packs. Let's take a quick look at the manual for this game. Quick look. Let's put on some smooth music. Take a quick look at this manual. Let me see here. For Chrono Master. Chrono Master. How dare you get in front of me. It's got Brett Spiner in it. It's got Ron Perlman. I forgot about that. And Lolita Davidovich. I don't know who that is. Yeah, thank God. No more of that music. Roger Zelazny and Jane Linskold's Chrono Master. Roger Zelazny died during the production of this. And it has Ron Perlman and Brett Spiner and Lolita Davidovich. What did she do? Here you go. These are the graphics. All right. Let me just look at this real quick. It's not that long. I didn't have time to look at it yet, though. Oh, that's not what I want. Scrolling here. All right, installation, blah, blah, blah. The universe of Chrono Master, you're going to become part of time and place where science has made miracles possible. If, like Reen Cordy, you have enough money, medicine has beaten out the aging process. Talented person could have long enough to become an expert in one or two, not one or two, but dozens of careers. That's why Cord is so good at what he does. He's a specialist in terraforming, pocket universe design, a starship pilot, astrogator, diplomat. He's also a computer programmer. He programmed his talented hollow friend, Jester. Okay. The similarities between the universe of Chronomaster and those in the various works by my partner, Roger Zelazny, are not a coincidence. It's stuff about the author. Yeah, I think he passed away during this. It's not the work of just one person. Okay. Neither Roger... Or... Okay, this is the not about the game. Okay, okay. When I play the game, I like to imagine Roger leaning over my shoulder, laughing at the joke, sharing my awe at the detail work. Yeah, because he passed away. It's kind of sad. All right, so we got Jester. You start in the ship. Jester is Rene Quarter's spacecraft and the Starship Intelligence model loaded on his Morningstar class vessel. Right. All right, so Jester will talk to us. You got the database console. It teaches us about things, the communications console. We can talk to people through our ship. Arca, yeah, okay, this is just about... I don't need to look at this. Universe designator, panel designator. That's where you travel on the ship. Okay, and then we also have like a planet view. We go down to the planets. Maybe I don't really need to look at this. Okay, I actually don't think we need to look at this. Oh, we'll look at it in the context of the actual game. All right, cool, cool, cool. Let's do Chrono Master then. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, Brett Spiner. Here we go. Lolita Davidovich sounds hot. Is she the one from uh, Lolita Davidovich? Let's see. She was known for her breakthrough title role as Blaze Star in the 1989 film Blaze. She was also in Leap of Faith, Raising Cain, Intersection, Cobb, Jungle to Jungle, Gods and Monsters, Mystery Alaska, and Play It to the Bone. Was she a porn actress? Hmm. Take a quick break. Be right back, alright? Then we'll start Chrono Master. Have a good time. Have a good time, everyone.
Okay, perfect timing. Look at this idiot white worm. I don't think he was gonna make it. All right. Chrono Master. This game has a lot of talking in the beginning, but it seems really cool. So hopefully it will be cool. And hopefully it will work too. It seems like it worked when I tested it. Uh, what do I need to do here, this? And I need to do this. Roger Zelazny. Anybody read any of his books? Trying to anybody ever read any of his books? Da, da, da. Da, da, da. Da, da. Ron Perlman, Brett Spiner is my love. Cool graphics. Da, da, da. Cool graphics. So you can live multiple lifetimes in Chrono Master, in the Chrono Master world. You read a bunch, yeah? Did I beat the Quake boss, Karepa? Yeah, it was by accident. You have one? Amber Chronicles? What's the good Rogers and Last need to read? What's a book? Good question, Zyber. Um, that's not worth worrying about. They're very good, Salvage. Milo, listen to your grandma. I want you to come with me right now. We can't wait for your parents. Milo is Brett's minor. This is happening everywhere. Pirates. Looks like several bands, maybe more. They won't leave witnesses. I've fought their kind, my love. They'll loot the planet that burns. We've got to get underground. Never forget what you see, my love. You owe it to everyone. Oh no! Who are these pirates? Did we get away? How did I not read Roger Zelazny? I haven't, no. Lord of Light? Good. 50 years later. Alright, Jupiter. The mediocrities. Yeah, put those ten packs wherever you got, wherever you can fit them. Mediocrities, fit them somewhere. This this has the best. This is the best era of 3D graphics. No, Yo, you got to put your fingers over the fingers. <laughs> you didn't put your fingers on there, right, guy? <laughs> Mister Lazy Pants. Portal Master. I'm a little worried this isn't set up right. But it seems to be working fine. Oh, oh, I thought something, I thought somebody died there. 
a little worried this isn't set up right because it's not set up in my version of DOSBox, but that seemed to be okay, right? Okay, look at that lens flare right there. Is it, I wonder if that's Milo. Da -da -da -da. So the pirates, huh? So that was the intro. Baloop View is the Lazny bio. So he had a big impact on science fiction and fantasy? I never heard of him before, Chrono Master. Lord of Light. Several of his novels are landmarks. Lord of Light, Creatures of Light and Darkness, Home is the Hangman, and A Rose for Ecclesiast Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes. The Chronicles of Amber 10 volume is regarded as a classic fantasy. All right, Chronicles of Amber. If I ever read a book again, I'll read Chronicles of Amber. Last Defender of Camelot was adapted by George R. 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 Martin as an episode of the new Twilight. Twilight Zone. Okay, cool. Very cool. He had a variety of jobs. He had a master's degree. He lived in Santa Fe. He was praised for his prose. He had three children. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, God. Okay, get out of it, get out of it. Back to the fun retro gaming. How do I get out of this? How do I get out? What did I do? Okay. Was that the intro? Oh, that was the intro, okay. Hey, Jeremy. Thanks for the dancing bear, Praxima. This guy goes by the name Zero Cool. First five books. Starting with Nine Princes is a very original. All right, I'll read. That'll be the next book I read. Da, 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 da. He was a big writer in the late '60s. Oh, okay. All right, sounds good. He worked on this game, but I guess he passed away when this game was in production. And then the Jane lady finished it, helped finish it. Whoever that Jane lady is. That's Jester, your like electronic AI. That you gave boobs. Hey, Sugar Pop, message incoming from the Terran Regional Representative. Tell the representative that I'm retired. The last thing I want to do is deal with a stuffed shirt. And, uh, don't call me Sugar Pop. Right. Oh, wise and powerful maker of universes. Listen, this call is coded emergency. Maybe we shouldn't just put her off. The trouble with stuffed shirts is that when they blow up, they make a terrible mess. Put the representative through. Representative. Mr. Corda, I know you are retired, but we need you to deal with a very sensitive, very secret matter. Why bother me? Surely you have people on your own staff who can deal with this, whatever it is. You are the ranking human specialist in both terraforming and the creation of pocket universes. You are the only person who may be able to solve a problem that could, without exaggeration, threatened the continued existence of hundreds of thousands of sentient beings. Please, continue. Within the last half year, two privately owned pocket universes, Herbs and Orans, have been shut down. Time, effectively, has ceased to function within them. We need you to restart the universes and find out who is responsible for these atrocities. Although you will be working for the old Terran government, we prefer not to admit to interfering with private universes. You would be on your own. That's a pretty tall order. You realize that the key for each pocket universe is a carefully hidden secret known only to the universe's designer. We do know. That's why we need the best. Are you saying that you cannot do what someone else already has? If it is any comfort, there will be a large fee. Trying to get my gold, lady? Fee doesn't matter. Not much, at least. I'll admit, I'm interested in this from a professional point of view. Is there anything you can tell me to get me started? Our research shows that the designer of herbs is named Charlie Bell. We have a contact number. You may wish to call him and see if he can give you a clue to the key of herbs. We can supply you with the coordinates for herbs and orange. Beyond that, you're on your own. You haven't seen Charlie in centuries. Yeah, maybe I'll check with him. Remember, you will need a supply of bottled time to function in stasis. 
I uh -huh. do know my job. I have some on board. Can I, uh, draw on your account for supplies to get started? Within reason. Does this mean you're on the job? Write up a contract. And, though I may be doing this because I want to know who's good enough to turn off universes, don't forget the zeros in the paycheck. Thank you, Mr. Corda. Contract will be forwarded. She's gone, Sugar Bob. Don't call me that. This is cool. Funny book, Bring Me the Head of Prince Charming. Okay. And I never really read comedy books. They're not long books. Hard to imagine sci-fi in the 60s. Yeah, it is. It is actually Mirax, yeah. You always think of like, oh, all the good ideas are happening this year. And you think, there can't possibly be anything good from the 60s. Because it seems so far away. But yeah, a lot of good, a lot of good stuff happened a long time ago. We also we live in the present a lot. All right, now we got to talk to Charlie Bell, who created Pocket Universes. Corda, Renee Corda, it's been ages. How have you been? Pretty well, all things considered. Been living quiet since I retired, but. Uh... Now I'm onto something rather fascinating. I picked up an odd bit of work. It has to do with a couple of pocket universes that have been put into stasis without the owner's authorization. You designed one of them, a place called Herbs. Yeah, I designed Herbs. Can't tell you who for, though. Professional ethics, right, old buddy? Did anyone come to talk to you about your work, say, within the last year? No, no one. And even if anyone did, I wouldn't say a thing. I remember the terms of my contract and the ethics of my profession. Easy, man. I'm not trying to get you barred from the union. Uh, listen, is there anything at all you can tell me that might help? Well, since you're dealing with a universe in stasis, you're going to need bottled time. Brush up on its limitations. There are some tricky aspects, especially if the universe was fully functional and it was thrown into stasis. Thanks. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, one more thing. The other universe that's been turned off is called Orens. You know anything about it? Actually, I do. The designer was an alien named Nizam Rokhtar. Do you know her? Uh... No, no. Can you uh, tell me anything about it? Uh, Not much. She's good at what she does. A bit vain, I've heard, but then aren't we all? <laughs> Took a long time to reply. Thanks, Charlie. I'll uh, let you know how it turns out. Who's the main voice? Just in my suite. See if you can find me a contact number for an alien named Nizam Rockstar. I'm on it. Hey, do you really think I'm sweet? The main character's voice sounds familiar. Trying, trying to think who it sounds like. I'm trying to see who it is. It's not one of those famous, uh. Oh. The main character is Ron Perlman. Oh. Main character is Ron Perlman. I thought it was someone. I didn't realize he was the main character. Oh, okay. This is cool. I like the, uh. I like this plot so far. Yes, what do you want? That I'm is a busy artiste. A mouse. The universe is awake my awakening touch. I agree. <laughs> Look at this dialogue box. <laughs> this is the best dialogue box I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, Courtney, yeah. It sounds like a young Ron Perlman. Very young. Honorable Nizam Rakta, I am Renee Corda. Charlie Bell suggested that I call you. Renee Corda, I <laughs> have heard of you. Before you retired, you set some jewels in the heavens. But why does Charlie Bell wish you to trouble me? I have nothing in common with him beyond our mutual profession. I am researching a difficult situation. Two universes, Herbs and Orms, have been put into unauthorized stasis. Charlie says you designed Orms. Anything you can tell me may help to reactivate the universe and find the criminal responsible. Truly, I would not deny one of my children. 
but Orange is in the care of her new owner. I have nothing to say about my desert child. Um, you can do reason or flatter. Let me s uh flatter. Seems obsessed. This mouse seems obsessed with herself, so probably flatter. Ah, uh, honorable Rocktar. You were too kind when you spoke of my poor works as jewels. Compared to the beauties of your universes, they are poor rough stones. I would enjoy knowing more about your works for purely aesthetic reasons. Desert design is difficult. There is an art to the subtle arrangement of sand, rock, and plant life. It is a minimalistic art rather than the flashy, overblown styles of other terrains. I am certain. Your control at hearing that Orange has been shut down is admirable. You must be horrified. I am not happy. God's Pockets paid me well for the job, even though some of the design specifications were peculiar. The work is up to my high standards. God's Pockets. God's Pockets. Hmm. This God's Pockets must be an aesthetically sophisticated organization to have chosen both you and a desert world. Do you know how I might get in touch with them? No. They ordered Orange, paid me well, and then vanished. I believe that Clea Terrific was hired to do five other universes. Those must not have needed your unique touch. It must be difficult to hide a world key for a desert universe. You would like the expanses of water or dense forests so many use to conceal such a sensitive item. For some, perhaps. But for me, it is a matter of art. I believe in placing the key in a place that, while difficult to penetrate, is in harmony with the greater purpose of the universe design. So, for Orange, you would place it in a pile of sand? Orange is indebted both to the desert and to the Arabian Nights. I have set the key with it. Oh, but that would be giving away too much. You have a resonance tracer and a direction finder, do you not? So you intend to make me work for my pay, do you? Locating the key shall be easy enough with those devices and your legendary skill. Perhaps it will be. Thank you for this opportunity to speak with you about your art. I leave your company enriched. Farewell. This is cool. Present. I've oh. already looked at the contact number for Clea Triffitt, Cordicute. You were uh, eavesdropping? I live to serve you, O oh great and mighty creator of universes. You serve well, Jester. Just don't eavesdrop. Now, connect me to Clea Terrific. It, must, it sounds sort of, yeah, it sounds sort of like Ron Perlman, but not, I, guess, I mean, I guess he was, was 25 years younger. It's got like his inflection on the words, but the voice sounds like slightly pitched differently. I like how it has anime cartoons in it too. Is this game French? Wait, who did make this game? It's a good question, actually. Who made Chrono? Oh, I can check the box. Yeah, capstone. It said it. Capstone. We have the actual box for this game. Do you guys want to see it? We have the actual box for this game. Chrono Master. It's a pretty cool box. It's a cool looking box. Look at this guy on the side here. We have the actual box for this video product. He was 45. Was he 45, Lengu? How do I like this hamster game? Core of the Chrono Master in his quest for justice. Look how young he looks here. Young uh, Ron Perlman here and Brett Spinner. Brett Spinner, what's in the box? Let's see what's in the box. And in the box is. Let's see? What's in the box? What do you think is going to be in the box? Any guesses? A lasagna? No, it's not a lasagna. Chrono Master Windows 95 installation card. Wait, I have the manual right here. Why was I looking at it in a PDF? I can literally just read it. Nice. We'll put the manual here. The answers are all here. The Chrono Master secrets. Time is not on your side. Get your copy today. Prima's secrets of the games. Restart the universe and return justice to the stars. How much is it? It doesn't say how- oh, 20 bucks. 
$4 shipping and handling. We also got Intracorps 1995 product catalog. What do we got in here? We got what's on the front? William Shatner's Tech War. <laughs> William Shatner's Tech War. Witch Haven. Harpoon 2 Deluxe and Chronomaster. William Shatner's Tech War. William Shatner's Tech War. I should play that. It's bad though, right? Witch Haven. I want to play that too. Chrono Master, we got Corridor 7 Alien Invasion. I don't know if you guys can really see too well. Uh, I can... It's kind of hard to see. Body Count, Operation Body Count. They're like shooters, they're like weird shooters. Zorro. I tried to play that game, I couldn't even figure it out for the life of me, but we do have to play Zorro. Harpoon 2 Deluxe, Harpoon 2. Ultimate Backgammon, we have to stream that too. Witch Haven, Witch Haven. Guide, this game has a lot of alternative solutions. Really, that's awesome. This game is really cool so far. Casino, I like, I'm, I'm very enthralled in this. The art style, the story. Casino Tournament of Champions. There's no champions in a casino. Grandmaster Champion Chess, Grandmaster Chess, Bridge Master. They make a lot of, they make a lot of, anyone for cards. Business Card Maker. Surf Ninjas. Surf Ninjas is 20 bucks. You want Surf, anybody wants Surf Ninjas? Tech War's quite bad. Good. Wayne's World. We need to stream that. Alright, that's it. And then we also got... 90 Day Warranty. 90 Day Warranty card. And here's the CD. And here's the actual CD. I could have played this game off the CD. In, an, in the actual CD drive. The box inside's dirty. Looks like someone like drew on it with crayons. Kind of a dirty box. I <laughs> get rid of the box. It's gross. I've been watching Tech War now. I've never seen Tech War. No. Well, that's what a box is like. That's the box experience. I don't know if it's like mold on this box or what. It's like dirty. Just throw it over there. Throw it in, I just threw it in the trash. Alright, let's contact Clea Triffitt. She is someone who made other universes. Hello, this is Renee Corda. May I speak with Clea Triffitt? I regret to inform you that Clea Terrific is no longer alive. Mm. I am in charge of her estate. She's no longer alive. I just love this dialogue box. I'm very Great. sorry to hear of her death. I am researching some of her projects, specifically universes she may have designed for an organization called God's Pockets. I am sorry, but that is confidential information. Even though Clea Terrific is no longer alive, I am still bound by the ethics of her profession. I knew I was going to regret helping draft those rules a few centuries back. He drafted the rules? One second. You want to do a back, back game speed mode? Tech Wars low budget, weird and boring the show. The game's bad too. Um, bluff. Bluff for sure. Look, Mr. Attorney, I can't divulge particulars, but I am working for the Terran Regional Government. If you don't cooperate with me, I could have you disbarred. I think that's gonna work. I have faith that the Terran Government would not abuse its authority to the extent of disbarring a lawyer for following instructions of a client's estate. Good day, Mr. Corda. So this game has multiple paths. Very cool. Not so smart, cute. He's terminated the call. Do you want me to try and get him online again? No. He probably didn't know much anyhow. Okay. Let's save the game. Game one is empty. Start. Did we save it? Did we save it? Enter. Did that just save? I hope that saved. Load game. It's there. Loom what's luminosity? Oh. Yeah, we can make it brighter. Make it a little brighter. Get all the details. Yeah, this is cool. This game's cool. Very interesting. Very different so far. It's just first person in a ship right now. Um, 
We need to find out more about Clea to Rift, right? Val Kilmer? It does kind of sound like him. No, it's Ron Perlman. Ball of beef. Shatner wanted it to be biggest Star Trek. Tech war. Okay, so let's see. This is our, like, information station, right? Um, archives. I have my personal log. Okay, so the CD is archives. I have my personal log where I write down information. My personnel file on all these people. My inventory. Oh, inventory. Items taken from pocket universes. Oh, the herbs and the orange pocket universes, which we have to uh, try to figure out how to, who put them into stasis and how to get them back into not stasis. Pocket universe, you go into your own pocket universe. That's pretty sick. This is my ship specifications. Okay. Uh, this is archives. If I click on, what do I want to click on? P. Pocket Universe? Wow, there's a lot of information in here. Pocket Universe is operated as separate realities from Universe Prime. The physical laws operating within a Pocket Universe are determined by the architect. Through manipulation of quantum probability, it is possible to alter physical laws in such a way that magic operates, or the laws of chance swing from one extreme to the other. In this way, surreal landscapes can be created replete with strange and wonderful creatures. It's like video games. Video games are a Pocket Universe. Wow, so how much is there to... Pyramid Casino, what's that? The most famous gambling establishment in the Terran regional space, located in the pocket universe of Fortuna. This is a cool universe already, because it it has pocket universes. Good day, sir. You know he's evil, yeah, he's got a goatee and he's bald. They're always evil, Garepa. Hey, time for classic. I don't know, I don't think this is in the Halo universe. Uh, that's, that's not a, that's not a girlfriend, it's a holographic AI G-Pudding. Right, Ron Perlman didn't get gravelly yet, he must have gotten gravelly when he got older, when he gets older. But that's just, that's just P. A. B. Bottled time, what is bottled time? We need bottled time to go into the universes, right? Bottled time is the informal name for a localized quantum field effect. In short, an engineer wearing bottled time can continue to move and work in stasis, while everything else about him or her is frozen in time. So that's why how we get into the stasis universes. It does have the like, graphics like reboot. This is my favorite era of 3D graphics, this this right here. There's something about it. Generally worn as a small field generating sphere, bottled time produces a radius of effect within several feet of the user. Care must be taken when moving through a stasis environment while using bottled time. It's possible, however, to walk in front of a time frozen vehicle, with bottled time activating the vehicle to disastrous results. Oh, yeah, okay. So, it moves the things around you? Oh. Effects are often unpredictable, as anything. Entering the radius of bottle time absorbs energy sufficient to activate its entire form. Uh, what else should we look up? Blackjack. Casino game. Christmas. <laughs> Christian holiday. Craps. I thought it was going to be something gross. Let's look through at these. Anything interesting? A Dyson sphere. Named after Dyson. As a shell built around a star. I hope someday to live on a Dyson sphere. Anything else cool to look up? So there's spells in this game. Oh, because you can go into pocket universes that magic where there's magic. So that's why there's spells. So you, you so at some point we'll be casting spells. God's pockets. It's a corporation specializing in the creation of pocket universes. Their client list is confidential. Oh, okay, so God's Pockets made that which that made that one universe um, for the Aurens, right? Uh, God's Pockets works works with the best designers like Nism and Clea. For Nism, Halloween, Hanukkah, holidays. I'm about holidays. Insanity. A word which has fallen out of general use and is now applied to that group of chaotic thought pioneers led by the heroic Merriwind Tatchet, the pocket universe of Virdry, owned by and operated by Merriwind, as her admirers call her. 
provides a home away from home for all those who find reality an experience which is simply too linear. This kind of seems like where VR could go. Not pocket universes, but you can live in like your own world that you create, in, that you live in, in VR. Poly pocket universe, that would probably be one if we were tiny. Hey Aspie Life. Honey, I shrunk the kids pocket universe. Hey Claus, how's it going? I'm good. Mike Dyson. Mike Dyson's a good one. Uh, so there's something with insanity. I'm sure we'll, we'll encounter a lot of this stuff. Magic folky. Some universes you need a magic folky to do magic. Okay. Monkey boy. A simian genius, Tracy B. Smith, known affectionately as Monkey Boy to his fellow colleagues, was best known for his ability to master any complex program presented to him. His downfall came, however, when he overslept an important meeting of the Kage Convention on NNETTE7 and lost his seat on the council. Opponents of Monkey Boy were fond of saying that he never had a clue, nor can this entry provide one. <laughs> Monkey Boy. You think we'll hang out with Monkey Boy? Magic. It only works in certain pocket universes. Let's look through all these. Nicholson's Nightmare Crew. It works at a Fox base on Old Terra. Sets the industry standards for flight fitting ships. Okay. You can't handle the ship. Passover. There's there's all these holidays, which makes me feel like we do something with holidays. Quit? A word not in the vocabulary of Reed Corda. There's still a bunch of jokes in here. This too, the Red Death. One of the least popular drinks served in the Pyramid Casino of the Pocket Universe Virtuna. It's got scotch, tomato juice, Worcestershire, red hot sauce, salt and pepper, horseradish optional, hot salsa, celery stick. So it's a Bloody Mary. You just watch Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? I used to love that as a, as a, when I was a kid. When I was a non-shrunken kid, a normal-sized kid. I don't think I ever saw the sequel or the third one either. Tet? A three-day Asian festival in winter, celebrating the arrival of a new year. Universal tool. Like a sonic screwdriver. What else we got? Anything else cool in here? A world key. At the center of each pocket universe lies a control nexus governed by a device known as the World Key. It controls both the quantum waveform and phase shift variables of the artificial universe, keeping its pocket reality separate from that of Universe Prime. This allows each pocket universe to operate according to its own physical laws. By, ma by manipulating a World Key, it's possible to time lock a pocket universe in stasis. In stasis, quantum waveforms cease to collapse and all motion stops. So we have to find the World Key or figure out who found the world keys to these universes. Though only qualified architects of pocket universes possess the knowledge needed to manipulate a world key, the devices are kept under strictest security. Only by the use of specially licensed devices can a world key be located. Specifically, a resonance tracer and direction finder are both required. When found, the world key generally takes the form of a puzzle, the solution to which is only known by the universe's designer. Did somebody say... Puzzle? I thought I was gonna do the other thing, didn't you? Hey Zetsubara, what the what the French toast is this? It's called Chrono Master. It's awesome so far. It's awesome so far. Alright, someone's shutting down pocket universes. I have two choices of, of places to start. Herbs and Orans. Both have been put into stasis by a remarkable terrorist. Hey Abby, how's it going? Did somebody say... Puzz was finished Miss 1 through 5? Honey, I blew up the kid with dynamite and is now dead. I love that one, Kujir. You had the VHS for Honey, We Shrunk Ourselves. I only ever saw Honey, I Shrunk My Children. And I miss them and hope they don't get eaten by an ant. I never ever saw Honey, I Blew Up the Baby or Honey, I Shrunk Ourself. Oh, so that's the Terran representative. All right, what do we do? What do we do now? Bop, boop, boop. I, I know I can turn the other way too. Let's hope that's always appropriate. Rick Moranis is great. 
I wish he had more anus. That's my only criticism of Rick Moranus. He, he has like a normal anus. Okay, herbs. Oh, okay, I see. Herbs or... Whoops. I guess we're going here. I guess we're going to herbs. I didn't mean to... <laughs> Thanks for the... F uh, whoops. I must have thanked. He's got about a normal sized anus. I'm not done. Did I play Ur? Remember, the resonance tracer goes on magnetic north, dead on. I packed it with your things. It'll help you find the world key. Uh, boss, magnetic north is right where that uh, big scary looking statue is standing. Uh, I played a little bit of Uru, yeah, not that much though. I, I did a bunch of puzzles, Abby, and then I. These are my items. How oh, I, um... I did a bunch of puzzles in Uru, and then I fell off a cliff and, like, lost my progress, so I just quit. Can I go? I want to go back into the ship. My ship. My shippy ship. What's that? I'm pressing the F keys, and he's going, ah, ha. Ooh. Yeah, it should be a bigger than regular anus. All right, so when we're walking around, where did we go? We went to herbs, right? That's fine. We got to pick somewhere to go anyway. All right. So I walk around with the feet open. I'm in my pocket stasis. I got to be careful with my stasis. Walk around. Okay. This is some very cordant music. I got bored of Quake, Matt. We finished Quake. Walking. You walk around your menu bar. Oh, you can expand it. Yeah, here we go. So that's our bottled time. We already have the bottled time. What's that? Whoops. It's my finder. My direction. All right, I gotta figure out how to turn this music down. That's my main goal right now. Figure out how to turn this music down. <laughs> Cause it's just like straight up. Okay. It's a it's a heavy tone. Let's turn that down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, Rick Moranis is anus. Yeah, but it was cool, Abby. I would try it again. Someday. This is Mass Effect Remaster. Yeah, welcome intro. Okay. All right. What else is in here? Uh, use, take, quick save, quick save, sick. Walk, open, look, taste, eat, lick, talk to, push. Push, bottled time indicator. Show us how many capsules of bottled time quarter has remaining? That's not a timer, is it? I hope that's not a timer. Items I've found. My res. This is my resonance tracer. North is nearby, but this isn't the location. It must be obscured by something. This isn't the location. It's obscured by something. Okay. My resonance tracer. So, okay. So that's. Okay. The tracer must be placed on a magnetic north to find the location. And what's the? What are these other things? These are my bottled time capsules. Okay. I got I uh, eight. I wonder if you have to use these. Okay, let me try to save the game while we're here. We went to herbs. Without I, I wanted to read about it. I, how do I go back to my ship so I can read about herbs? We got the PDA. We got the PDA, which is this thing. Uh, the PDA is a mobile communications link between Corda and his ship. Jester uses the PDA to convey important information. So we're talking to Jester through that. I can connect connect to the ship's database by clicking on the PDA and then using it on myself. Okay, nice. Uh, we can so we can look stuff up. Nice. Sick graphics. 
Oh, it's like a floating PDA that shines on your face. <laughs> and we can use this down here. Everything's green, though. Okay, this game's badass. Yeah, we beat, uh, we beat Quake. Finished up Quake. Maybe we'll do the expansions, I'm not sure. Hey, Swaggo. This is better than Trent Reznor's music, Kishua, I think so. Hey, Grim Fandango, welcome back. We completed Quake 1, yeah. I don't know if I'll do the mission packs. I probably won't, honestly. Because at this point, we already switched games, so... Try Quoth, try Quoth, uh, Grim Fandango. Community mods. I probably won't for the stream. Maybe off stream. I think I, I think like we get. I got the idea. <laughs> Use this ambient sequencer to make the music. One channel note. A brick. <laughs> you sit it on the keyboard. <laughs> I got a nice me now. <laughs> this is what they use to make the music. Is something wrong with the music? <laughs> They use this brick. <laughs> okay. Um, what else? The direction finder. The direction finder. It's used to locate a world key after you got the resonance tracer on magnetic north. And then we also have the universal tool. Why do we keep playing games with avant-garde music? <laughs> okay, turn it down. Even more. <laughs> Why can't we just have a game with normal songs? Yeah, that PDA was like, ah, my eyes. That's, that's, uh, Roger Celesny came up with the Google Glass. The Universal Tool has a screwdriver, a hammer, and a force rod. Okay, what's a force rod do? Let's get a fort, let's get a, ah, oh, a fort, oh, like a crowbar. This game is graphically incredible. Just all the little touches on everything is actually pretty pretty amazing. All right, cool. Let's walk around. All right, we gotta go check out this statue. It's a massive structure and it's blocking Magnetic North. All right, well, let's force rod it. Pry that thing the hell out of here. Force rod it. Pry that thing the hell out of here. Composer's heads on the keyboard. Is it the co I can't do that here. Oh, maybe you have to move close to. This game's amazing. I wonder if it's gonna hurt me. I've thought a lot of games have been amazing at first, and then they hurt me later. You know, like Siberia Two, Siberia and Siberia Two. Siberia One Two One was amazing, and then Two hurt me. Why? Why did it do that? Why did it treat me like that? Well, that's a hell of a big statue. It's that. Well, that's a hell of a big statue. Oh, sometimes it says him say something. Sometimes it has like a quote I have to read. Look at the plaque over here. The plaque by the sculpture reads, Let us not await the end of things, but instead end things honorably. The pocket universe is a cool. First and third. Up in here. Oh yeah, first and third. It's fourth person. Cold ass. Oh, it's a spatula? Okay. Can I go down here? Oh. Oh, we went back to my ship. Down down was back to my ship. Alright, let me go read about herbs then. Yeah, oh, these were going into pocket universes, Timp. And they are in some terrorist put them in stasis. So everything's frozen except for the pocket around us. Anything close to us gets unfrozen, and we're unfrozen, but everything else is frozen. Siberia 3? Well, Siberia with a C, not Siberia with an S. Herbs. Sculpture Garden is Magnetic North, the city of Ground Zero. Oh, you can choose where to teleport. Okay. That teleports me. Herbs is a completely urbanized world. It's like Earth? Er is Herbs Earth? Low population, industry maintained by human constructs. Sima s simu simula How do you say this? Simulacrums. Simulacrums are also used in recreations of famous battles and historical events. Magnetic North is at the center of the sculpture garden. Herbs is a solar system consisting of four planets and an asteroid belt orbiting a yellow sun. 
also known as Ur uh, one industrialized world, also known as Earth, is inhabited by a militaristic society. Science and natural laws coincide with those of Universe Prime. Uh, let's go back to the sculpture garden. I don't know that I've ever been like as interested as I ha am in this game right now, in a game, All right at the start. This is very, very unique. When I get close to that, a bunch of horns uh, play. Let's screwdriver the statue. I can't use that here. What do I got? Hammer it. Smash this thing to bits. I can't use that here. Smash it to bits. We're gonna master Kronos. We're still learning how to. Let's talk to it. Welcome to the Garden of Honor. <laughs> Greet. You awaken. How fortunate. Are you able to move? In the days of the great conflict, the heroes of the fort held fast. Under Dieter's command, they stood unyielding. Obedient to orders, loyal to the homeland, they defended the holy soil of Urz with their lives. That's the military recreation thing. This game's so cool. Bow wow. Um, intimidate? We can't intimidate the soldier. We'll reason. Most enlightening, though I am not here for the tour. Could you please move from that spot? I need to set up some equipment there. Who are you to ask this of me? I shall not leave my post for one such as you. Here I honor the heroes of the fort. To aid them in their struggle would bring glory without bounds. We gotta bring glory to the heroes of the fort. So you can move if you wish, it's just a question of the right approach. Wait here, and I'll see what can be done. You know who the main character sounds like? He sounds like a mix between Ron Perlman and uh, Commander Riker. I think that's who he sounds like. Beard, how you doing? Wow, wow. Ignore. Wow, wow. Uh, how do we, uh, let's fight, let's fight him with a hammer. I can't use that here. We gotta honor him with, uh, do we actually have inventory? We haven't gotten anything. Maybe we have to go to one of the other locations. Let's try talking to him again and see if it's a dialogue thing. Welcome to the Garden of Honor. Greet. You awaken. How fortunate. Are you able to move? Let's say the same thing. In the thing. days of the great conflict. Dieter. All right, let's bluff. The heroes of the fort call to you. <laughs> Go to them as quickly as you can. Do not mock the heroes of the fort. They would not succumb in panic. Dieter the wise, Dieter the just will grow angry. Dieter sent me to tell you that your immediate presence is required at the fort. Now you mock me. Dieter would not send one such as you with orders for a soldier. Be gone. I shall speak to you no longer. This so, is a peaceful place. So he, this is all just... This universe was created just for this game? This is crazy. This game's real interesting. Welcome. Okay, let's try... Um, in the intimidate. Listen. I must position a resonance tracer where you stand. Step away. Now. What is a resonance tracer? No time to explain. Your universe is in danger. I must find the key. Now move. Do as I say. I do not obey the orders of civilians. Take your resonance tracer and go. All right, let's go try. Uh, I think we can walk around to other, potentially to other parts. Looks like we got, um, okay, we can go to the left and right, or that might just take me back to the ship. Let's see. Yeah, it's like Riker, Riker Perlman. Oh, here we go. Oh, we can kind of walk around him here. He's he's right where we got to put our residence tracer, this jerk. This jerk face. How's <laughs> your mom calling? Hurry, your mom is calling. What is my mom? What is a mom? I didn't know I had a mom. Can I look at anything? Okay. Walk over here. How have I never heard of this game before? Are we walking around the back? Ah, I see what we can do. Maybe get this lady to come to life. Wait, how is that guy alive? Oh, because if we're close enough, he's he's in the bubble. Flagpole and a plaque. Alright, let's look at the plaque. 
Strike the flag, they cried, and lowered their colors. One by one, the, yeaters, the invaders yielded to the might of herbs. Strike the flag? This is a flagpole without a flag. Uh, how do we take? I can't take that. Take the flagpole. I can't take that. Can't take it? I can't take that. I can't take it? I can't take that. Why not? I can't take, take it. I can't take it. Enormous. I can't take it. Please. I can't take it. Please, please, please. I can't take it. Please try. Try to take it. Alright, use. We need to find a flag, I think, maybe. Quick save. Nice, you have the quick save. Let's open the plaque. Please take it. Please. I can't take that. Why not? Alright, we got a flagpole. I like this. I like this tone. Maybe these plaques are clues. Duty, honor, herbs. The plaque reads, "Duty, honor, herbs." That's my uh. That's that's my catchphrase too. A rock. It's just a rock. I and mean, we'll see about that. Let's take the rock. Throw a rock at this guy's head. I don't know. With the universal tool, even a rock can be useful at times. <laughs> yeah. All right. We got a rock. We got our oh, it's like wireframe. Your inventory's wireframe. Take, take that. That's cool. This game is so cool, so stylish. Uh, but I know, I just know it's gonna hurt me. I just know it. It's gonna do something to hurt me. I wonder what it's gonna be. But damn, is this game cool? I've never played a game that has this much cool style before. It's so like, this is a peaceful place. Really does feel like you're reading like a sci-fi novel. Everything that's going on here. Okay, um, we got a rock. I could try using the rock on this guy. It doesn't make a lot of sense, but maybe. Use the rock on the statue? Nothing more than a rock. Hey, Biggest Jake. I can't take it anymore. I can't do that here. I think that sound is him coming into the... Something with the flagpole. I know we can teleport other places. Let me just try to use the rock on the, um... On the statue. We're gonna get hurt by it? Okay. I don't mind I don't mind being hurt if it's cool, syllogism. I don't mind getting hurt if it's cool. A little pain a little pain never hurt anyone. Binaural waves. I mean, we always have walkthroughs, right? The real pain is when even there was something happens and you can't even be helped with a walkthrough. Or it, is it gonna be hurt? I wonder what the hurt's okay. gonna be. Use rock on a flagpole. I can't use that here. I wonder what the hurt's gonna be. Sometimes the hurt comes from just like a difficult solution. Sometimes it's just like someone you would never, one you would never actually figure out with 100% of your brain. Can we walk over there? Or can you only he go over- He doesn't seem to see me off to his side. Oh, really? He doesn't see me off to his side? Really? So he can't see me. Okay, well in that case, let's take the resonance tracer. Magnetic north is not nearby. The resonance tracer will tell you nothing here. I need to, oh, okay. He doesn't see me off to his side. All right, let's throw a rock at his dumb head. Use the rock on, no good, on myself. I can't use that here. Can we use it on? We can't do anything. It says he doesn't see me off to his side. We can't actually do anything here. Let's walk around to the, to the left there. You cosplay as Chronomancer, I wish you the best of luck. There's gotta be something with a flagpole, and it has something to do with strike the flag they cried and lower their colors. One by one, the invaders yield to the might of herbs. We gotta have something to do with that. Let's try going to the other areas. Because there were two more areas we could teleport to. This is a peaceful place. This is a peaceful place, he says. Is that some kind of a hint? As to what I need to do. Can you like, is it a pixel hunt? Is it gonna be a pixel hunt? Let's go teleport to the other spots. Uh, uh, hey Mora. Uh, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, that, that like weird music. I wonder if it's because I'm using MT32 or you think that could be it? Let's teleport to City of Ground Zero or the Fort. Let's try the Fort. Fort. 
landing right on that tank. <laughs> okay, so there's other areas we can go to. Let me quick save. Um, I wonder if that's it. I wonder if that's the problem. I wonder if that's it, because I accidentally put on MT32. How do I load? What's that sound? Is that from the game? It is. It was like a ticking. Is there a bomb in here? I don't, I don't know how to load my quick save. <laughs> Let me just save the game. Fort. Is that saved? It's not saying like saved or anything like that. Let me quit to DOS. <laughs> it does have a turtleneck. He's got a metal turtleneck. Carrot. Is it a pixel hunt? Yeah, I don't know. Got it. Let me check. Let me let's try switching it off. I wonder if that's the problem. Sometimes that can be the problem, or it might not even be enabled. But it only takes a second to tr to test. Chrono Master. Configuration file. Try turning it off. Maybe it'll fix it. Save. Game startup. Escape. Oh, you can load your quick save here. All right, we'll see. What do we got here? We got a soldier on the ground. Looks like I may be able to take this trooper's armor. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's take his armor. We can pretend like we are one of the troops to that statue. There we go. Took it right off his little body there. Let's see, is there a hotkey for, uh, like, take? Is, is T, like, U, T? Any of the keys do anything? Any of the keys do anything? Little song. Yeah, maybe it sounds better. Exactly. Not by much. <laughs> Look at the body. I'm so amazing how he was just my size. This trooper is dead. Hmm. Pity. Pity. Pity, pity. Alright, let's look around some more. We got a missile loader. Missile launchers are fired from a remote panel. Here's a button here, a simple button. Um, can we put on the armor? If we use the armor on myself. Oh, there, he put it on. Maybe that's all we need to do. We got the armor on. I see his, his uh, sprite even changes. Let's see, how do we get back to our ship? There's also a flag here. Let's take the flag. I don't know if it's a good idea to... I wonder if you can die in this. It's interesting, because this game gives me like a I have no mouth and I'm a scream vibe. Maybe it's like they just are good at creating world's authors. Something about them. Anything else here? Panel. This control panel may activate that launcher. The missile... Oh, there's another flag over here. This flag has the herbs crest. What's the flag that I picked up? Unknown markings. Interesting. Okay. Let's take the herbs flag too. We might switch it back to uh, Roland if it's even anything. All right, I got the panel activates. Oh, I wonder if I can get different um, a different armor. I don't know what's an herb. Does it show me the color? Herbs crest. This these guys might be the herbs. So I might be an invader right now. Look at the launcher, look at the panel. Should we activate it? Fort entrance, can we go into the fort entrance? Let's see, we can go to the, oh, hold on. Go to the panel. Can you walk off to the side here? Okay, if it doesn't have an arrow. So I can walk to the panel. Oh, and then look at it. Hmm, do I want to launch a missile? I don't know if I want to launch a missile. Am I launching a missile at that armor guy? I don't think I want to launch it. Maybe I want to launch a missile to... Oh, I can go in, uh... 
Okay, now we're close up to this again. Should I try pushing this button, see what happens? Quick save. Let's try using uh, the button. Oh, I'm in the way. W? Is there, there's no hotkeys, right? What's that? What was that? 1006135337. Zero, zero, Chronomaster version 1. Is that my phone number? Okay, let me move. And then switch to use. I have to move a little bit more. I'm gonna just leave this open. Use what on use the button. Um open close the button. No. Use so use is only for okay, push pull the button. I wonder if a rocket could travel in stasis if you used bottle time on it. I gotta use bottle time. Let's let's go back to the statue and see if any it's something with the flags, because we need to um do that anyway to find the uh how to get out of here. Oh there's a scanner. Hold on, there's a scanner. Where was that scanner? Did I change the device in the game setup? No. So that's why I didn't know if it was going to change at all. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Take. Scanner. I can't take that. No? What's the scanner? What is the scanner? Not going to look at it? Okay. Let's walk over here to... There's an arrow here. I don't know how to get back to my ship. Okay. Oh, that's what the scanner is. What's the deal with the scanner? The scanner may allow me to access the fort. Let's check it out. Walk to it. Well, that's the herbs crest. So this is crap. The scanner disagrees with my taste in clothes. I thought this was the herbs. This is the herbs. So this is an herbs armor, but it doesn't. This scanner doesn't like my clothes. Maybe this is the enemy fort in this pocket universe. Hey, sacrifice. Yeah, it'd be cool. There's my. Is that my ship? No, my ship's on the tank, right? It would be cool if we could, uh. Yeah, if, I cru if this game had Crusader DLC. Crusader armor DLC. Is there a quick way to get back to your ship? You just have to figure out where it is. Crunchy, crunchy walk sounds. We're crunching on something. How do you get back to your ship? We landed on that tank, right? We started at the launcher. I could try to mess with the uh, panel. This whole place is frozen in time. Can you get different clothes? Uh, maybe you have to walk close to one of these guys. And then maybe you'll, you can switch armors. So this... But I think I gotta get back to the metal guy right now. I just have to figure out how to... Um, where's my ship? Get to my ship. I don't to get back to my ship. How you doing, Zach? There's no quick way to get back to your ship, right? You have to find the right place. Is this the pain? Is this the pain of the game? You don't know how to get back to your ship? <laughs> Just walk all over looking for my ship. Crunch, crunch, crunch. It's like someone crunching on some... Someone's chowing on some Doritos. If you if you got a crunch, now's the time, because it's going to be hidden. That's, the that's my bottled time, right? Whoops! Wait, I thought it was bottled. How is it moving? There's no bottled time over there. Which way, where do I want it to? Where do we want it to shoot? Shoot. Did we use bottled time on it? Oh, I can move it. Does this count as it being in bottled time because we're near? Don't want it to shoot over here. I don't have any idea where I want it to shoot. Oh, it, okay. Well, maybe we have to do the launcher thing. How come I, I don't know how to get back to my ship. An authentic M30 Thunderhawk missile launcher. This authentic missile launcher. A simple button. It looks like it's activated. I mean, this is moving. Let's try pushing the button now. I wonder if a rocket could try. If you, use, you have to use bottled time on it. Oh, I can use bottled time on other things. Um, force rods doesn't matter. 
Uh, but how do we, uh... I see, so you have to use bottled time. So just use bottled time on missile loader. I see. I can load that rocket from here, but the control panel for the launcher must be nearby. All right, so we, um, we might as well do this. I wish I knew how to get back to my ship, though. Is it down from here? Is it just down from here? Quick save. Is it actually just down from here? What a terrible waste. No. All right, let's try to fire the rocket at the, in the different directions. What's up, Inks? Some sunglasses like this. Yeah, people won't forget that. Guy with the goggles. Alright, um use or just push. Let's turn it. I'm gonna shoot myself if I do this. Push that button. That doesn't work. Push the uh, it looked like it flickered for a second. It's like flickering. Pushing this button works. Pushing this button works perfectly fine. Maybe I need to get a target. Pushing the... It's got a target. Doesn't have a target. Got a target. Then what do I push? Okay, this is not. I must have to do something else. Maybe I look at the panel. May activate the launcher. Hmm, I'm like I had a target. What was the target? Just me? Okay, it didn't like my clothes. I don't know how to get back to my ship. How do I get back to my ship? How do we get back to our ship? Can we not leave until we figure out this puzzle? Trying to get back to my ship, Migo, welcome back. Yeah, we finished quick original story. You're gonna you're shopping to replace your CPU cooler. Get a Noctua, Felahim. That's all you need to know. Noctua. Dave will Dave will just tell you Noctua. How do we get back to our ship? Is it over here? Maybe it's, oh, there's the tank. Oh there it is. There's the tank right there. Alright, let's go back to our ship. Maybe we figured this out later. I see. So the the items Sugar we Pop, have. Remove that soldier's uniform before you get back on board. So the um, you can use bottled time. Okay, I may have wasted it by putting it in the, the missile launcher. I don't know if this game has dead ends. This is an anime. Whoops. This game is an anime. Let's see if it's the same music here. It's different, right? Or is it the same? Let's pump it up. Um, okay, so... Oh, the bird! Wait, why'd the bird fly a little bit? The bird moved. Oh, because I got close to it? Oh, I s Oh. Oh. Is that a puzzle? You have to, like, get close to things and they move? You gotta pay attention. I didn't notice that before. I saw... Oh, so the bird flew because it's in my time bubble. That's cool. Was there anything? There's something... Hold on. Something appears when I'm... The rock. Oh, another rock. All right. <laughs> Let's take these rocks. All right, let's take all these rocks. Okay, Dave, we gotta pick up all the rocks. All right, we got three rocks. We also have the, uh, we still have the trooper's outfit. All right, um, let's put it on. Let's put it on here. And then maybe the metal guy will let us, um, will, will let us command him to get the hell out of our way. This is a peaceful place. What's my favorite anime game? Favorite anime game? This. Final Fantasy VI. Final Fit. No, Chrono Trigger. Chrono Trigger is my favorite anime game. Alright. Let's talk to him again and see if this. 
I think I gotta do something with the flag, though, but let's see if this works. Welcome to the Garden of... Bluff. For the good of herbs, you must come with me. The enemy is near. No, my friend. No enemy is near. I would recognize their insignia if they were. Okay. I think we figured out what to do. Wow. Yeah, the music is actually better. It's more of a background tone rather than like an overwhelming kill, kill, uh, kill your brain tone. What's your favorite, Mega? I say Chrono Trigger. Da, 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 da. We figured out what to do. Use the enemy flag on the flagpole, and then he'll think the enemy's near. <laughs> we get the true rock ending. Yeah, just like Anvil done. We gotta pick up all the rocks, but hopefully we won't quit this game. This, this game seems super badass. You got your own to be quiet, Shadow Rock 3. Well, I'll show you what I got, and if you want to... I think it's, uh... I'll show you what I got. Ugh. I got this... I got this knock to a, knock to a fan in my new computer. Uh, and I think it might be worth spending a little extra money. I think... I don't know if the... I think this is better. I think this is better. Then the be quiet, but I don't know. I don't think it really matters that much. I don't think it really matters that much. Ugh. I'm building that when I have time for a new computer. I'm building a new computer so I can use it as a new computer. Yeah, it's just yeah, it is just like Anvil of Dawn or like Eye of the Beholder picking up a lot of rocks. No mention of dead ends, but multiple solutions. That's pretty sick. You don't have a favorite anime game? Mine's Chrono Trigger. Gnomus knows. Gnomus is a professional PC builder. Shogo? That game is cool. I need to play Shogo. All right. Now. Welcome to the... Bluff. Loyal soldier, I have come to warn you. The enemy has dared raise its flag on herbs. There. Behind you. Invaders. Destroyers. <laughs> the garden of honor shall never be defiled by the likes of you. Yes, my friend. Go. That's it! Tear down that flag! And leave me room to set up the resonance tracer. <laughs> this game's awesome. Oh, there he goes. What in the name of... Someone else on herbs has access to bottle time. Was that an attack or... a warning? I suppose if they wanted me dead, I'd be dead. Oh, did somebody attack that robot? Uh-oh, are we being set up? Someone else has access to bottle time. That means somebody else shot him with something? Or they set a trap? Or... I don't know. I don't know exactly, no. But that that thing was killed. Statue. Man, this game is just too cool. This game is just too cool. Alright, now we can go set our resonance tracer there. Yeah, I think I, we're gonna run quick to an ultra. That is it. 140 millimeter fan. Uh, I don't know. Good Let me work. Look. With the information I've downloaded from the tracer, the resonance field is in place. Your direction finder will now aid you in finding the world key. All right, now we can find the world key by using our. We had to place that so we could find the world key. Yeah, it's 140 millimeter. Yeah, it is. The thing about the computer is I have to use my old graphics card. So, I have to like... I have to take my time with it and then like maybe put my graphics card in it so I can get the new hard drive set up. And then maybe even switch back to stream. Until I'm all set up on the new one. I'm gonna have to switch my graphics card back and forth a few times. Oh, I could try... Maybe I could get my old graphics card and put it in my old computer. I don't even know what it is though. My old graphics card is probably like 10 years old. What was out 10 years ago? Graphics cards of 2010, let's say. Best hardware of 2010. 
the NVIDIA GeForce 460. Sounds about right. It was some GeForce GTX. I think it was like a five something, like a 580. I feel like it was like a 580. I have to go see what it is. I don't even remember what's in there. The Helia HC500A water chiller. It sounds scary to put in your computer. All right, so now we can, cool. I like this game a lot. I just love like the art, the style is so cool. All right, so this is gonna, all right, I go this way. I'm guessing that's telling me. I, I could see where this game might hurt us, like how we had to pick up all those rocks. Like if you miss those rocks, I wonder if I missed a rock. I mean, and just everything about this is just it's cool. Yeah, Sugar this is Pop, really cool. That soldier's uniform before you get back on board. It's really aesthetically, really aesthetically very cool inks. Yeah, it was a hundred forty millimeter, four four millimeter fan. I got a Ryzen seven fifty eight hundred X. ATX, no. My CPU has integrated GPU? I don't think it does, no, Copvine. You, you could be right, but I don't, I, I just I just actually looked at that yesterday. I, I don't think it does. That was my old graphics card a Game Boy Color, yeah. GeForce 420. Power, your board has a power plug, a third fan, an M2 slot covered by your RTX 270. Oh, no. Well, there was a, there was a, we didn't go to the city of Ground Zero yet. Should we go back to the fort? Let's see if it's here. I bet we have to go here and then we go to the fort. Let's go here first. We haven't gone here yet. The city of Ground Zero. I like the idea of, I really like the basic concept of this. Look, a garbage truck. I really like the basic concept of, Everything's frozen in time except you, but you can move things. It's a very good, it's like a good game design uh, technique. Only you can move things around you or you have some bottled time you can use on the things. A rag, let's definitely, we definitely need to take a rag. We need that rag. We need that rag. Da, 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 da. Yeah, um, the Noctua was big. I was thinking about getting, like, the one that had, like, another fan and another thing on it. That would be way too big. It would be way, way, way too big. Too much. You can always add another fan and add another thing, I guess. Yo, hey, Elite, how you doing? Hey, yeah, make sure your Noctua is brown. <laughs> I have the UH... U14S is what I have. Yeah, I don't have a GPU in my thing. I don't think. I'll just use my old graphics card. That'll work well enough to have the computer turn on. Hey, there's my baby. Oh yeah, it's my ship. It's my ship, Jester. Bum, 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 bum. Someone's hammering. Hold on, let me hammer something over here for a little bit. Just hammering over here. Sorry, I gotta hammer a nail into the wall. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> what processor? Ryzen 7, 5800. I think that's all the words. I think that's all the letters and stuff that go in there. It's all good, Hoaxfish. Yeah, get the brown one. My case came with fans. But I guess I should put in the other fan I bought too, right? I have to, f yeah. My case already came with fans. People said it wasn't gonna come with a fan. It did, it came with a fan. It came with a back fan and a front fan. A lot of work to build a computer. All right, we're going over here. Oh, let's use a, uh... get out of here. Oh, you can move the windows? Fart, fart sound, fart bass. Case fans can be fine. I looked it up, it said that the fans were okay in this one, but I'll still put in my new one that I got. All right, we gotta go to the upper left. Your fan better be brown, quote, natural Dave. 
All right, let me let me try to pixel hunt. I think this game might have pixel hunts. Da -da 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 -da. Wait, does that mean I gotta get back in my ship? I wanna explore this area first. Man, this game would have blown me away if I played this in 95. My pants would have been full of crap. I'd have been crapping my pants constantly. It's new. It did. Don't worry about the extra fan. Oh, I already bought it though. You don't think you don't think I need to worry about it? What's this game about? Oh, it's an op. Yeah, we're put so here, the game is about people for figured out how to not, not age anymore. So this main character is like a super genius because he's been alive for a while and like mastered a bunch of different things. And two people created there's these two pocket universes and someone put them in stasis like a terrorist and we have to figure out who did it and try to get him back to normal. So we have to find we have to like save the pocket universes by finding the world key and also figure out who figure out who did it. And we're playing as the Chrono Master who has the ability to do it. He's like a it's almost like a Han Solo type, type mercenary type dude. Space, uh, space mercenary type. Who can do stuff. Alright, what do we got here? Shipping container, the box is closed. So we gotta save two pocket universes. This is a very sci-fi future, far-flung future thing. Yeah, I'd be full of crap if this is a kid. I would've been full of crap to the very top. <laughs> Take the polish can. Or maybe it's a Polish can. I now have the Polish can. What makes a can Polish? What makes a can have nationality? This can has a little polish left. We got a rag and polish him. I wonder if what we're gonna polish. Should we polish this guy's shoes for him? Make him when he when he when time so the, everything's frozen in time except for us because we've got bottled time. This is our bottled time over here. We have canisters of it. Okay. So we can move and things that are near us, see this bubble around us? Things near us, how do I get rid of it? Close, close, close. Things near us can move, but nothing moves until we save the universe. <sighs> Always have at least three case fins. I mean, I bought it, I might as well put it, put it in there. What else can we look at? Can we talk to the sleeping guard? Can we get close to him? I don't think it would be a good idea to wake him. This is, it's so insanely 90s. Nine, this is so, this game is so 95, Charlie Pancakes. All right, Nomus, play your, everyone ask Nomus all your uh, PC uh, hardware questions. Everyone PM, <laughs> sorry, don't do that. I would be full of crap all the way to my brim. Hmm, pierogies. It's got pierogies in it. I love pierogies. Oh man, let me tell you. There's nothing more I like than pierogies. Okay, let's use... Let's use this rag on the sleeping guard. Let's shine him up. I can't use that here. Let's use the rag on the um, polish. There we go. Now we got... Now I've polished him up. I can't use that here. Okay, can we open the um, shipping container? Oh man, this guy snores like my ex-husband. I have a husband. I can't open this with my bare hands. Can't open this with your bare hands. I think I know how to open it. Force rod, go! Yes! It worked. Ancient shield has been shipped to this museum. Ooh, an ancient shield. I think we definitely need to take that. There we go. I now have an ancient shield. I kind of wish you could look at the items up close and it wouldn't... It, the wireframe was cool at first, but it's fine. The ancient shield was to be part of the museum display. Not anymore. Now it's mine. Boop. Now it's mine. The box is empty now. Oh, far. Oh, fad. Got a new PC a few months ago. Nice. Friendship wreck. Chrono Master's really cool so far. Chrono Master's really cool so far. Uh, yeah, I just, I'm building a new PC now. I just don't have a new graphics card, unfortunately, because it's possible to get those unless you want to pay like 700 bucks. You want to pay like a premium. 700 bucks for what? What is it? It's like 750, 800 for a 500. A, a 26, uh, a 36, you'll be like 600. That snoring was pretty, that snoring's pretty messed up. That snoring is pretty messed up. Da -da 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 -da. This game is super cool if you like, so far, if you like um, sci-fi adventure games, it's very, uh, it's very interesting. Hmm. A wartime museum. You're told you snore like a pure walrus, but you think it's a lie. I snore if I'm, it's weird actually. I snore if I'm, 
on my right side, but if I'm like lying flat or on my left side, I don't snore. But if I if I'm on my right side, I do snore. It's very strange. Sometimes I'm I've fallen asleep, uh, and my daughter will be like, "Stop snoring!" She like yells at me, "Stop snoring!" If I'm on my right side, stop snoring. It's hilarious. You gotta stop snoring. <laughs> she like gets really mad at me. Got a Mac laptop, no GPU, no fan. Ah, oh, John Big Booty. Oh my god. Oh my god. He also starred in City of Lost Children movie. There's a City of Lost Children game I want to play too. What if you like British humor? I think you want Discworld, not this. Buy a GPU, write it off as a business expense? That doesn't. Like, writing things off as a business expense isn't really like. You don't get that money back. It just like makes your taxes a little bit less. The way I understand it. I used to think if you could write something off as a business expense, it made your taxes that much less. It just can lower how much you owe by like a small percentage, as far as I know, unless I was doing it wrong. Too cute to snore, really? Me too. All right, let's look at this stuff. Holog wow. What a nice antique. Hologram of a gun, a hand. Hmm. Not much call for these anymore. What are they? Wow. Sword. Well, that is of no interest to me. No? The school sword? Gen a set of general bars, probably guarded by some kind of security system. General bars? What's general bars? Hmm. Okay, so these items, hmm. where they say, he says generic, we don't, I don't think we actually uh, take. Quick save. He made it as a quick save. I can't take it. Yeah. I can't. I can't. Okay, so I think we have I to take, take it. Oh, when we get close to it, the hologram moves. That's so cool. I like all the little... Touch. That's a nice touch. Oh, what if I get close to this bomb? Will it explode? Fart sound. Fart, 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 fart sound. I can't. <laughs> you never snore or fart ever. Really? If I'm not... It's more... I, I fart more than I don't fart. It lowers... It, like, just lowers your percentage, but maybe I just don't understand it. I gotta do my taxes. A set of general bars, probably guarded by some kind of security system. Alright, let's see what happens if you take, try to take them. Don't. I detect a laser defense mechanism. Try again, it will fire. You have to find a way to deflect the beam. The shield? The shield? Uh, use shield on general, on, um... Corda? I can't use on the bars. Use shield on general bars. What is a general bar? Is that a type of candy? Should I get the right picks? I can't use that here. No good. Um really? Don't use the shield? Hmm, that's weird. Do I use the armor? Maybe use the armor. Use the armor on Corda. I won't work here. Use the shield on... I can't use No that. good? Okay, maybe we can put it on something else. I think one annoying thing, which is an annoying thing in many games, is if you're standing in the way of something, like, it, your, your hitbox is in the way of it. We don't use the shield? I can't. Oh, we have to figure out a different way to deflect it. Okay. Snore grinding and a mouth guard? Damn. Alright, PM, DM Vicky if you want her to be your girlfriend. Actually, don't do that. Please don't do that. Local tax laws, you save a whole lot of money when something's a business expense. Maybe I just never noticed. What's up, Luna? Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, those are some sick bassy farts. Those are, yeah, that's farts. That's not from the song. I was farting. Okay, look at this. Walk over here. Look at this. I have to deflect the beam. And it's not the shield. I don't use the shield. Use the shield. Um, do you have to use it on something nearby? Or is there actually lasers? Like a laser? You have to use it on... I can't... Da -da 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 -da. Is there like a laser generator? I should deflect the beam. Maybe deflect it with a hammer. Deflect it with a hammer. I can't... <sighs> I can't use that here. <sighs> I can't use that here. <sighs> Depressed. Do you maybe push this container? Push, pull it. Pull, push it. Legend of Zelda it. Push, pull it. Eh. Eh. 
How's it gonna fire if it's outside your time bubble? It's inside my time bubble. If I pick it up, it's inside my time bubble. It, it knows. Oh, you mean the laser? Yeah, maybe maybe the laser's coming out of this. The laser the laser must come out of this. Let's see what happens. Let's uh let's die. Let's see if we can die. Or maybe it won't let me. Am I dead? You can die. Sick. Oh, when do we meet Milo? When do we meet Brett Spiner? Starring Ron Perlman and Brett Brent Spiner. Put that in the title. Get all the Brett Spiner fans in here. Oh man, this game has sick deaths too. This game is awesome. Alright, everyone. Let's throw let's use a rock. A rock on the bars? I can't. I don't know. Use a rock on the use a rock on the Ugh, move your butt. Use a rock on the general boss. I can't. Alright, let's go to the other part and see if we can do anything with that other part. I don't know what the uh, what is a general bar? I don't understand what that. Is. Oh, general bars like you're like you're a soldier. I see. I see. So you need the general bars to get into the fort when it scans you. Let's see. Do I do anything with this sleeping guard? Like throw a rock at him? I can't do. What are we gonna polish? We wanna polish something? Maybe we need to polish. Maybe this is the polish. Something can be deflected with polish. If it's Polish, it deflects. So you use the polish on the uh, general bars. I can't use, use the polish on myself, so it deflects off. I can't. Use. Hmm. Let's see. It might be a pixel hunt. Let me try to let me try to pixel hunt around a little bit. Just by like, I wonder if you need to actually use one of these. No, I haven't seen one of these in years. These hand the sword. Can I actually use the sword? No, okay, no. You can't use anything in the environment. Use is only for using an item on yourself or using on other items or or using on an item. You can't use like these items out here. Let's see, this is green. It's green, the other ones are red. I wonder if that's a clue. The other ones are red. This one's green. Where am I getting shot from? Not this thing, right? I'm not getting shot from this, am I? I can't use... It's not use the shield. There's a shield on the bars. The general bars. Yeah, it's really I Ron can't... Perlman. Look, it's on the back of the... It's on the back of the box, which I've shown earlier. Actual box, actual manual, real, real hardware. Real hardware. Alright, it's... Yeah, we gotta get in the fort. I think we gotta get the general bars. Maybe we have to shoot the missile first. Or I missed an item. Oh, I wonder if I have to go to the other universe and get an item. Let me see if we can go to the other universe right now. You might have to bring items from one universe to another. Or it might have something to do with the sleeping guard or the polish. I tried the polish everywhere, right? I feel like it's something with the polish. Oh, do you have to polish the shield? Make the shield reflective. Now that's a polished shield. Right as a mirror now. Okay, there. That's what you have to do. Okay. My bad. Julie. Really obvious. In retrospect, that's obvious. It's tip, tom, foot, step, left, right, left. Right. You have to polish the shield, make it like a mirror, like the mirror shield from Zelda. This game is basically a Zelda clone. Use the shield on the, on the bars. Here we go. My hero. Yes. <laughs> He's using it like an umbrella. All right, now we got the general bars. Okay, now we use the general bars on the trooper's outfit. I think you're on the right track, boss. Now we can get into the fort. Okay, easy game. 
And that's a polished shield, I know. Cody, Cody. Sleeping guard. The Jester. Reminds you of Hello Cyberpunk Thriller. It has a similar visual style on the, uh, when, when they're walking around. It's a similar graphical style. I don't think that's who made this again. Capstone. Chrono Master Moby Games. Chrono Master Moby Games. Develop a oh, Dreamforge. I think Dreamforge made Hell. Did they make Hell? No. Oh, Dreamforge made. Oh crap. Dreamforge made Anvil of Dawn. <laughs> right. They made Ravenloft. They made the Ravenloft games. They made Sanitaria. Sanitarium rules. No wonder this game's good. They made Sanitarium, which rules. They made this three years before. They also made the two Warwind games, which are supposed to be cool real-time strategy games I never played. Uh, they also made Veil of Darkness. Right, we already looked at these games, and I wanted to play them, and I forgot. Okay, we got, we got to play Menzo Burns and Ravenloft, the two Ravenlofts, and Dungeon Hack. Maybe Veil of Darkness. These three previous games, I have to look at them again. Alright. Let's go to the fort. The graphics look like hella cyberpunk thriller, though. Yeah, when you're down, there's a similar kind of 3D. That's a game I would not play again, but it was interesting. That was developed by Take Two. It was just straight up developed by Take Two a long ass time ago. I don't, I don't even know what team worked on Hello Cyberpunk Thriller. That had Dennis Hopper in it. Uh, that, who's a bunny? If you never heard of Dennis Hopper. All right, go to four. Dennis Hopper is a, um, a bunny. Talking bunny. Well, they also, they made a, they made a Warhammer game after that. What was it? Rights of War or something? Warhammer Rights of War. Warhammer War Rules. War is pretty sick. All right, we can get into the fort. So when you get close to things, they start, they activate. All right, let's go to the, let's go in the fort now. Because we... We can use the uniform on myself. Now I have the. Now I look like a general, so I can get into the fort. Sit. Um, I couldn't get in there before. So all you have to have do is have that. It just scans your uniform. You're a general. Come on in. <laughs> yeah, we got 2021 planned out. 2020. We're pretty much planned on this stream through 2025. Oh. They're firing, squatting a prisoner? Oh man, the universe got frozen just as they firing squatted a prisoner. Four. All right, quick break. Hey, many tacos. What's up, Dreamcast? This is not Crazy Taxi. Hey, I gotta take a quick break, all right? I'll, I'm gonna run as fast as I can, and I'll be right back. Um. Okay, be right back.
Hungry. I'm hungry. Sorted. All right, how's Worm doing? Worm, oh, come on, Worm. How is he gonna? He, oh my God, he's got to back up so much. All right, let me move. First of all, let me take care of this issue. We'll just hide this. We can make it really tiny. Oh my God, worm. Wrong way completely. No offense to any worm lovers out there. Worm was kind of dumb. Kind of a dumb one. Oh my God, I don't want to kill. So if I go in, if I go in, quick save. If I walk into the beams, that's, yep. Oh, it's just, <laughs> look at the happy little PDA. Dun da 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 dun dun da 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 dun dun da 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 dun. Man, I can't wait till we meet Brett Spiner. Brett Spiner. I wonder if you like. I have an idea. What if you use the rock on the firings? I was thinking like you plug up each gun with a rock. There's three rocks and three guns. What is the maze thing? The maze thing is a screensaver from After Dark, which I'm running in Windows 3.1. There's other screensavers too, like such as and so on, Meadow or Mowing Man. Go Mowing Man. He's mowing. He's mowing. He's mowing that grass. After Dark screensaver. The After Dark screensaver of the month. Switch it up from time to time. Kiss him in chat here. Hey, Star Fox. Would you miss Salvage Bar? You missed something that was so incredible. You will never see it again, and your life will be much worse off for it. Sad to say, if you had only been here, if you'd only been here, look at the firing squad. I don't think it would be wise to try to walk in front of them. Those lasers would be inside my time area. Get out of my time area. <laughs> Stop. No, no, I didn't mean to. <clears throat> Mandelbrot. You want some Mandelbrot, buddy? I don't mind talking like this right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I'm talking like a weirdo. Want to see some Mandelbrot? You get into, you into the Mandelbrot? <laughs> Modern version of uh, After Dark? I know. Like, they don't have any use anymore, but they're just cool. It's like customizable animations. It's just fun to... But when... You should just be able to put them on your computer anyway. Uh, it's going here. I think this one you want to speed up. Otherwise, it goes a little too slow. Okay, <laughs> Mount of Brock. It's cooler back then, like on a CRT. Um, what's there's there's a lot. We got a lot in here. Boglins are. Let's make them. Let's do Boglins. Uh oh, they explode sometimes. This one you want sound for, obviously. I made him too explodey. I made him way too explodey. There. I don't know why they're wearing a Santa hat. That's a pretty good one. Let's let's up the twanginess. Whoa, oh, oh, it's swinging, sharp twanginess. Okay, now they're twanging way too much. All right, yeah, you can do all kinds of things. I want cats? We got cats. Boris is napping. All right, back to the game. Whoa, I'm going to get so loud. 
you like to think of yourself as a Chrono Trigger master? <laughs> a Chrono Trigger master. Ah, like Chrono Master Trigger. Yeah? Did you ever beat the game just with Chrono just using the mop the whole time? Because I have. Because I thought it was going to turn into something cooler, but it didn't. All right, what do we got here? We got a flag, we got a shield. Could it really be a simple... Could we use the shield again? Yeah, we do. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. <laughs> wow, this polished shield is like better than any laser gun from the future. No, why was this guy getting killed? Jeez. I <laughs> just murdered them. Are we're, are we making a choice in this war? <laughs> How do we know who's bad and who's good? We're just kind of getting in the way. Look at the envelope. A manila envelope? No, a vanilla envelope? My favorite kind of envelope is vanilla. All screensavers are viruses now? I now have the folder. Let's look at the folder. It says that the prisoner's name is Tico Higgins from the RNs. Awistar's right-hand man suspected of plotting to put herbs into stasis. Oh, I thought, like, oh, so this universe is not just a joke. It's like, um, the universes are fighting. The orans and the herbs are fighting. Oh. Dwister's right-hand man was suspected of plotting to put herbs into stasis. Oh, okay. I almost thought this felt like this, this unit, it was like the custom universes can be like a holodeck kind of thing. And you make one if you just want to, like, live out of fantasy. But you can also just li people can also live there too. Have you ever played and beaten Nightlong? No, but it's high on my list, Super Ninja Desu. It's definitely high on my list. I have the I have the actual disc for that, and I might have the box for it too. It's it's super high on my list. I'll move it even up to the higher of the higher of my list because I I do want to play that soon. It's I almost played it a, a little bit ago. But thanks for the reminder. Where's game audio? Oh. Something broke. Did I mute? I muted OBS. Thank you. Sorry. Somehow OBS got muted. Oh, I know why. I know why it got muted. I muted it in my uh, mixer accidentally. Oh, sorry. What did what did we miss? Okay, here's what you missed. We'll replay it. Use the shield on the firing squad. Sorry about that. Yeah, now the prisoner was just starved to death. Well, we'd probably talk to the prisoner, right? Let's take the envelope over here. Ah, uh, Chrono. Yeah, Nelvera just beat Chrono, right, Beetle? Did she beat it? She beat it, right? Chrono trigger? You didn't beat it with just the mop, but you did pretend to X-slash with your friend in elementary school. Oh, that's super awesome, Ben. That's cute. How you doing, Lingo Lord? That's super cute. Nightlong? Yeah, Nightlong looks really awesome. I mean, I love this style of game. Or I love what Nightlong looks awesome, too. Let's try to talk to this guy. Where did you come from? Wh what's going on? Greet. You're being rescued. If things had not shut down when they did, you'd be quite dead now. I'm carrying bottled time, so we have some limited mobility. Rescued? Sure I am. Now that you know we're here, the others will set their charges. My friends won't be taken without causing havoc. Wait. Just who are you? Uh, reason with him. I'm Rene Corda. From what I see here, I'd guess that Herbs was thrown into stasis just as the guards fired. You're lucky I came along. Stasis? Just as I was going to be shot? This is a trick. You're one of Dieter's men, and this is a hoax to get me to talk. Forget it. Give him the truth. I'm going to take a risk and be honest with you. I'm here as a representative of the Terran regional not government. Supposed to be honest. I've been hired to find out who is shutting down private universes and to stop whoever it is. Additionally, I've been told to locate the world keys and reactivate any worlds that may have been in stasis. All right. Since you've been straight with me, I'll be straight with you. I was sent here by my employer on Arendt. There have been rumors that someone from Herbs is plotting to put Arons into stasis. I haven't found any evidence of this, but maybe someone is after both Arons and Herbs. If you get to Arons and find it in stasis, hunt out Erebu the merchant. For a price, he'll supply you with information and supplies. 
I'll remember that. Before I leave, I'll give you a supply of bottled time. You want to come with me? No, our tasks are different. Go on with your mission. I'll make my own way to safety. Good luck. Nice. We got a contact on the Arns if we ever go. Well, we're probably going to be going there. We got a contact there. No, I'm not on my new PC yet. I'm still um, building it and might take a little bit more time. Today, tonight I'm doing Mother's Day stuff. I'll have to see how much time I have after that. Uh, I probably will have time to do more tonight, but I also have to do my taxes. I have to work out. Oh, wow. Hey, Kira. How you doing? Do, 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 do. So we gotta, we're looking for the um, world key. She beat it. Didn't even need chrono. No chrono. Very, very impressive. My final team on... Um, my final team on... Uh, I believe was Ayla, Chrono, and Marl, I believe. That's the team I always used to kill, Lavos. I believe that's the team I used. Because you could do 9999 with a double tech. Chrono and Ayla. Marl healed up. 9999 with a double tech. I like the ending where Frog and the Princess elope, and then my, yeah, yeah, all the endings in Chrono Trigger are awesome. I was thinking of doing a stream on my old uh, Super Nintendo cartridge, where we just go get all the endings. Because uh, I have like a new game plus 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 plus, plus. and then you, but you'd have to play through you have to play through the game to get all the endings. But as you play it along the way, then go kill Lavos, and then like I guess it would be a full playthrough. But like with high level characters just to get all the endings I don't maybe that would be interesting I guess you could just watch all the endings I'm not sure if that would be if that would be cool or not I'd like to replay that game I was I'm not sure if I'd want to replay it as a normal characters or or like play it on my old cartridge this is awesome Lingo Lord this game's awesome it's awesome I really like it so far yeah supposedly it's gonna hurt me though I've been told it's gonna hurt me, but it's still cool anyway. Look at the Ford interior. Look at it. Look at it! Look at the Ford interior! Look at it! Proman sounds sleepy? He's just young. I, I think that's it. Like, it's his 25 year old ago, year ago voice. Right? So he's he's still got some life in his voice. He's not dying off. He's not decaying. Yeah, all those endings in Chronature are awesome. That's one of the. Like, you don't really see that anymore, right? In games, where you can get all these different endings depending on what point in time you, you know, what you've done that you like undisrupt time. Such a cool idea. Use Frog, Isla, and Chrono, because Frog and Isla is a full heal. Yeah, that's what everyone tells me that you shouldn't bring Marl, that you should bring Frog, I think. But. I used Morrow, all right, Isla, and Chrono, all right? That's how I did it. Chrono, Robo, and Magus, because Rono has a heal, Robo has a heal, right? First world. Or I could use potions. Yeah, it wasn't Grizzly Ron Perlman yet. It's this version of Ron Perlman. It's this version of Ron Perlman. That version. And look, Brett Spinner. See? He's got like an afro. He's got a little bit of an afro. It says, it says on here, Brett Spiner, Star Trek The Next Generation as Milo. Ron Perlman from Beauty and the Beast as Corda. <laughs> Ron Perlman from Beauty and the Beast. And I guess Ron Perlman really got known for Hellboy, right? Is that the main thing he got known for? Or was it Beauty and the Beast? <laughs> Was he the voice of the Beast in Beauty and the Beast, the cartoon? All right, we have to figure out how to get in here. Hmm, I don't know what to do with that control panel. Maybe I could think of something otherwise. Maybe I could think of something. Otherwise, the PDA might be able to interface with it. Oh, yeah. According to the view of the fort when I landed, the center of the complex lies beyond. Hey, PDA, you in an interface with this uh, touchpad? You into that? You into this touchpad? Give me a moment. I can open the elevator for you. Give me a moment. I'll give you a moment. Here we go. Going down the elevator. 
They need to do this with games more. Like give visionary authors. Get away from the blue button. If you push it, you'll shut down the reactor. Our orders are to. We must shut the reactor down. If you push the red button, the explosion when the reactor overloads will kill everyone on the planet. The invaders are here on Earth. We must destroy everything rather than risk the violence. My orders come from Theater himself. Obeying orders blindly is stupid. We should verify Theater's command. Nonsense. The order is given. The longer we delay, the more we risk defilement by the invaders. General, sir, order the lieutenant not to press that blue button. If he does, the reactor will be shut down. Sir, surely Lord Dieter does not wish this world to be destroyed. We have great armies. They will repel the invaders. Order the captain away from the red button before he can destroy everything. Uh, what? How are they still alive? Are they in my time? He played the beast in the live action, did he? Really? Back in like the, the mid 90s? Okay, he played the beast and it was a big deal. Really, Rumpus? I didn't know that. <laughs> um, destroy world. Captain, press the red button. I may be a superior officer, but my orders cannot contradict those of Lord Dita himself. How are they in? Here we go. Oh, is this to get the world key? What sliding puzzle to destroy to save the world or was that the was that for the world key? We'll have to go back and load the save. All right, what are the top sliding puzzles are so easy? Oh man, look it says it right here. Sliding puzzles are easy. Look it says it right down there. Sliding puzzles are easy. What? All right, watch this puzzle is this disgustingly easy puzzle. This puzzle's basically pathetic, I would say. This is basically a pathetic puzzle. Um, okay, here's a what we're gonna do here, huh? Here's a what we're gonna do here, huh? We do one of this over here, this, that, and the other thing over there. Swap that around over there, put that up there. All right, this goes up here like that. All right, not a problem, not a problem, not a problem. Okay, which piece? Actually, I got. I do have to figure out. I do have to figure out which piece. Um, this, that, and the other thing. I have to figure out which piece goes. Okay. There we go. Oh no! Wait. What do you do now? Ah! That looks so easy. Siding puzzle. Something like that from Sanitarium. This is the company that made Sanitarium, Kira, so I wouldn't be surprised if it is. I don't understand. What are we doing? You'll have to come with us, sir. Orders from the Council of the Wise. Did we, um, save the world? What did we just do? What the hell's going on? <laughs> What's going on here? What just happened there? Did we get the world key? Did we re-energize the world key? I was saying they should do this more. Give like, like really good authors like the reins in a video game. Cause then you get crazy stuff like this. All right, I don't exactly understand what happened. Is the world still frozen? All right, let's see what we got here. We got the count, just a bunch of council members. A robot is a member of the council of the wise. These beings are known for their mobility. Why is this one still? I've heard reports of three-eyed beings, but one serving on the council? The only humanoid member of the council. Maybe I can reason with him. A Zerbrin inhabitant. Why is he so quiet? All right, let's talk to the human then. You are free to act or speak as you wish. We know your thoughts and shall pass our judgment in time. I advise you to prepare for death. A Wu-Tang adventure game? No, that would, it would probably be good. The Wu-Tang made a game, didn't they? Wu-Tang... On PS1. Fighting game, right? Didn't they make a game? Wu-Tang video game. Looks like a dead end, we'll see. Wu-Tang Shaolin style. Wu-Tang Shaolin style. Punishment for the decision? I don't know, I told him to just... I followed the orders, right? Wu-Tang Shaolin style. I've never played it. 
I'm assuming you couldn't stream it unless you turn off all the audio. Well, look at this. Oh, wait, maybe I did play this. My friend's house. Story mode? Oh, yeah. I, this game didn't look that great, right? It's like an arena fighter. I don't know if that game is actually any good. I'm not sure. Anybody play it? This is a Wu-Lang controller. All right, let's greet the human. Your world, your entire universe was in stasis. If I had not found the world key, you would still be trapped. Nonsense. Only a handful of specialists possess such knowledge. You are a spy. The only question is what universe has sent you. We too possess vital time. Using one of our precious supply, we fired at you. Oh. The robot in the sculpture garden stepped into the blast. Why did you not run? I come from Universe Prime. I am a qualified expert in the creation of pocket universes. If you know my thoughts, you know this to be true. I came to investigate. Thoughts like words can shield the truth. You are a spy, like he who set the bomb in the junction. We never did anything with that missile launcher. I wonder what I was supposed to do with that. Oh, it could be a multiple multiple solutions thing, right? So you can either probably get the general bars or just like shoot at the fort, blow the door open to get across, something like that. All right, so we did, that was finding the world key. That's that uh, sliding puzzle. I, I was probably reassembling the world key and then we set time back into motion and then these guys already had bottle time and we got, we're getting accused of like being a spy. Hmm, I said maybe I could reason with the human. Intimidate. Before you do anything foolish, I'll have you know that I am an authorized representative of the Terran Regional Government. The Terran Regional Government maintains some limited authority over pocket universes. But within our universe, we will not be threatened by the forces of Old Terra or anyone else. I tell you, if you harm me, you will regret it. Not only will you have Old Terra after you, but you will have slain the only man who can solve the mystery of who has infiltrated your universe. I see the only intruder who interests us standing right here. Cease your idle threats. They will not halt the death that you have so richly earned. Ah! Wait, this guy's like a super crazy good time pocket universe bounty hunter, but he can't escape from the planet. He's got he's like defenseless against thro getting thrown down a hole. <laughs> oh, even quick saves since then. Let's go back to well, what save did we want to do? We want to go back to... Let's go back to Fort, and let's see what happens when we make a different choice on the, um... Let's have him not destroy the universe. See what happens there. He's got no defenses against being thrown down a hole? I don't get it. Yeah, those 250 cent games, First World. I never played those. I heard the second 50 cent game... There's two. I heard the second one better. But the first one, I, I heard, is not that great. All right, PDA, hack into this thing. If you give me a moment, I can open the elevator for Second you. Second one was better. I assume those games are hilariously like still bad, even if they're good. Get away from the blue button. We must okay. nonsense, general, sir. All right, save the world. Lieutenant, press the blue button. Lord Dita's armies will defeat the invader. There is no need to destroy lives and property wastefully. The blue button blows you up. Okay, so the blue button just blows you up. That's some sort of trick. Okay, we can... There's this folder. It says the prisoner's name is Tico Higgins from Arns. Oh, that might just be information about the prisoner. Okay, let's try it. We have to we, we have to say the right thing then. Let's talk. Should I talk? Try talking to the robot. Are you free to act or speak as you wish? Okay, agree. You were. I can. Uh, we can bluff. You, I think you're supposed to reason. Let's try bluffing. General beings, you have every reason to keep me alive. Why did we need a trespasser and a spy? No, I am not a spy. I am a trained creator of pocket universes. Not only can I find who has invaded your universe. I can help make your universe proof against future invasions. Interesting. Perhaps we should review your qualifications. Okay, maybe so it seems like bluff was the right thing. Yeah, Def Jam was a... Uh, Def Jam, uh, Mega, yeah, had like, uh, Method Man and stuff as the fighters. I think, uh, I wanted to play 50 Cent, but you have to actually get the discs for those, and 
Who wants to actually spend money on 50 cent games? Fear or respect? Respect. Honored sentience. I specialize in creating pocket universes. I was sent to restart your universe. I humbly beg leave of you to continue on my mission to locate the creature who has done this to you. You are a most honorable professional. We release you to continue searching for the solution to this mystery. All right, we got free. You can really tell when professional writers and actors are working on a game. This makes a world of difference. Gives the game a good vibe. It would be super janky if the voices were in the writing was bad, you know. How you doing? I don't know if I want to get too close to him. Oh, I think I want to get too close. I don't want to see you around here again. Why? Your council wants me to... I work for the council, not you. Jerk face. I don't... I don't... Check out this outfit I stole. That Gar won't work here. <laughs> Let me put that on and taunt that guy. Let me throw a rock at this guy. I can't... So, I, can't. I, I, I wonder if we... Uh, could have done something completely different, like use the rocks and the missile launcher. We didn't do any of that stuff. How'd the blood get on 50 cents blood get on the sand if he's bulletproof? Hmm. Maybe maybe he just a little cut maybe he just gets cut a little bit. Like his maybe just the inner parts of his skin are bulletproof, but not the outer parts. Go over there. Go. Oh, there's a button. I see the button. The elevator cannot go any higher. It should say that. It should, it should say that in a real ele elevator when you're inside. Cartoon played him. Pretty entertaining. I, I assume they would be. Like a 50 cent game? Probably be hilarious. I have to figure out. They're both 360, right? 50 cent was the main character in one of the Tales games. Tales of... Tales of the Club. Bunch of dads. <laughs> A bunch of dads in GameStop. Is this game 50 cents? You know, I wouldn't be so... I'm pretty sure someone said that to me, Praximo, yeah. How much is this game? 50 cents? It says 50 cents right here. Oh, yeah. If, if there was every dad joke you could think of... Happened in game stores. Alright, we escaped. So we saved the um, herbs or whatever. But we don't have any clues. We talked to the, the prisoner, helped us a little bit to, to um, give us an idea of what's going on, like how someone was attacking both the universes or whatever. And they have, they got like some hints of it. Maybe they're trying to turn the universes against each other. Um, so we can also go to, yeah, Arins here. A semi-desert world with low population, but one known to attract the occasional interstellar trader. Little else is known regarding Arins. We can go to Magnetic North, Canyon, Plateau, or Caverns. It's a solar, s the Arns universe is a solar system consisting of a binary sun orbited by a large semi-desert planet, a gas giant, and a small Earth-like world. The physics of this universe have been altered to allow for magic in the style of the Arabian Nights. So there's magic on this, uh, it's a binary sun. <laughs> it's a pitch black elevator, yeah, there's no lights in there. <laughs> PS2 50 cent? Maybe it was PS2. First game is PS2, Xbox, second is PS3. Oh, okay. Okay. 50 cents in store credit. What was the joke? Um, someone would always say, you say, can I help you? Someone, they would, someone would always say, I'm beyond help. I'm beyond help. Can, can I help you? No, I'm beyond help. <laughs> Dear. I'm beyond help. Uh... Ooh. Ripple. All right, now we're going into the other universe. Going into the other universe. Hey, there's no price tag on here. I guess that means this is free. No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, that's not what that means. Ouch, are you insane? I don't want a damn cactus. Form, form of cactus that thrives in this arid climate. All right, so now we're on the Aran's uh, planet. 
We still have all the items now. You only right. You can't take the items out of the universe. I guess this is a completely different pocket universe. But we do have uh, the clue of the person to talk to. You can go to either universe Look, first. Uh, I wonder what the difference would be. Fitting right where we want to put the resonance tracer. Oh really? And um, the pocket universe is anything can become real. So in this one, they made magic. They made magic a thing. So it looks like we're gonna get a genie, some genie action. Who the? Bunch of genies. Bunch of buff dudes. Or if you can't tell the difference between Vicky snoring and starting your lawnmower, you compared the uh, audio files. Can we just take the bottle? I can't take that. Can we close the bottle? Just close the bottle. Put him back in. A powerful looking being who doesn't quite look human. He has a magical quality about him. But there's six of them. He's not even commenting on how there's six of them. Greet. Excuse me, I hate to disturb you, but you're standing where I need to set up my resonance tracer. Feed us! The dates of fasting! Feed us! Sounds like they're hungry, Sugar Pop. Except, where shall I find this fruit you require? The oasis of the seasons. Do you accept the challenge? I do if you swear to move and allow me to use my equipment upon my return. Agree. You must bring the dates of fasting. Six pieces for six gin. So that your journey to the oasis of the seasons will be a swift and pleasant one. We shall summon our flying carpet to take you there. Sick. It's like a living video game. This park universe is. Oh, nice. I would not want to fly on a flying carpet. I would fall off that thing. I would absolutely fall off, unless it like magically sticks you to it. I would fall right off. It's a guardrail. There we go. <laughs> Whoa. He's a chrono master, but. This is a nice break from the sun. Still not great. I don't often get out. I'm glad to be away from them for a while. It talks. <laughs> it does. Really cute. Well, at least it didn't call me Sugar Pop. <laughs> Talking carpet. Yeah, muscular genies. Six buff genies from a jar. If there are 60, get 18 wishes. I'm fine. I think you still only get one wish. Great. Mm, the djinn are powerful creatures. How long have you obeyed their orders? Since the beginning of time, we are as old as the universe, the Jin and I. The hunger of the Jin. They seem quite hungry, your masters. Why can't they feed themselves? Or send you for the dates they need? I have no hands with which to pick fruit, and they are too proud to gather food. Got all these different choices. Honor of the Jin. Your masters, will they honor their word to me? Yes. Cruel and stupid though they are, they honor their word. Oh, are they cruel and stupid? Okay, I agree. They do appear a bit gruff, although perhaps a little lacking in mental agility. I wonder that they do not rule this world. Like all things, they have their limits. They know if they get too unruly, Sheik Twister would take their magic turban, and with the words Juniper and Return, send them back to their bottle. We gotta take their turban and say Juniper and Return. They're cruel and yeah, they're all right. They're cruel and stupid, but you know, they're still kind of all right. <laughs> Let's go like to the first save. Um, uh, dates. Let's go. Oh one dates. Each group of saves will add an additional number from top to bottom. Yeah, not looking too steady on that guy there. All right, there's a bunch of different fruit fruits. A symbol of unleavened bread, yellow moon. Nine-pointed star, radiation, a heart, pink clovers, a lotus, a symbol of a flaming man, symbol of a chalk outline, a purple horseshoe, green clovers, a green clover. I have a feeling you want the, the lucky charms? One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I think you just want all the lucky charms. 
nuclear bomb explosion. Or do you want all the nuclear ones? There's there's like a set. Unleavened bread. Biohazard. A pillar with food at its base. Skull and crossbones. A cross. Orange star. Blue diamonds. Green clovers. Purple horseshoes. Pink hearts and yellow moons. Lucky charms? <laughs> it was eating lucky charms. The pool of water. A crystal clear pool of water suitable for drinking. A carcass. The remains of some animal. Let's pick those up. This is a horror game? What, with the animal carcass there? No, it's not horror. Pick up water. Drink. Ah, cool, refreshing water. You're horrified? Hmm, oh, by the, <laughs> the carpet? Can we... Well, let's look at this carcass. The remains of some animal. Hmm, how do I know which ones to pick? Can we move? <laughs> the carpet's pretty weird. Uh, up in the trees, yeah. I have a feeling it's like the Lucky Charms. Let's just try Lucky Charms. Let's pick up, uh... Let's pick up the Lucky Charms. So many Lucky Charms. Yeah. It's gotta be the Lucky Charms, man. It has to be. What are these uh, other ones? A nuclear bomb. There's also nuclear. A warning track. Chalk outline of a body. <laughs> the flaming man. A lotus. Nine pointed star. Nine pointed star, they'd be like the sun, things that are hot. What did they say? They wanted, um. So they're cruel and stupid, right? Alright, let's go back. Juniper and return. Maybe you just have to take their turban. Maybe you don't actually have to give them what they want. Maybe you have to figure out how to take their turban instead. Give me that! Got your hat. Radiation bar has safer than Lucky Charm, safer to eat. Yeah. Talk to the magic carpet. Uh, use the magic carpet. How do we get back? Talk to it. How do you? What do you have to do again to get back? You probably told me and I didn't listen. Use the animal carcass on the magic you carpet. Can use that here. <laughs> hey, magic carpet. How do you like having this animal carcass sitting on you? What's up, I magical carpet? <laughs> you mind if I put this animal carcass here? Please, sir. I don't have the hands. No. How am I gonna get that out? Maybe we should do something with the water. What if I put the, um... Put the animal carcass in the water. I can't use that here. I've right, got the lucky charms. Certainly lucky charms. How do you get back? How do you get back? Ay ay ay. I think navigating the world is a little bit difficult in this game. Figuring out where you can go. Yeah, it could just be, it could just be a herring. Yeah, a rainbow herring. <laughs> lucky charms, tragedy -os, and... Unleavened bread. How do you get? Oh, you have to just walk to it. Yeah, navigation. Navigation, I think, is the only issue I see so far. Navigation is weird. Knowing where you can go, how to use, how to use the magic carpet. You just drank, bro. You just drank, bro. Oh, when you click on it, you can see... You can look at it. Okay. Um, use moon with gin. Eat that moon. You like it? Munch, munch. I think he likes it. Oh, we got his turban. You have brought the wrong fruit. We shall take no more. He liked it. He liked it. Well, he didn't like it. But we can take his turban now. By so these words, I command you, a Juniper, and return. Get back. No. And you have treated yeah. us. No. Blah, blah, nasty. Okay, so here you can either get the correct fruit, even if you get the wrong fruit, you juniper and return them. 
What's the correct fruit? I want to see what happens if you get the correct fruit. I'll be damned. The turban's magic caused it to disappear into the bottle. That would explain why it's not in my inventory. I can't take that. Oh, great. Now I have all these fruits. What's the correct fruit? Corona Master. I want to try not to spoil anything, though. Um... You can- you gotta give them the pillar, the cross, the burning man, the bread, the star, and the lotus. How would you know that? We can try it. See what- try to see that alternate path. But I'm gonna save this as, um... A one turban. I'm gonna load this one. Finally. Finally some water. Take some water, drink it. So it was the... Uh. Pillar? The bread was one. So it would be something that's not a lucky charm and not something to do with radioactivity. I guess that's how you can figure it out. Ones that aren't really in a theme. The star. The, um... The lotus, yeah. We would take that one. The night, like, the variations of ones and... The chalk outline of a... Per the burning man, though. I don't know how you would know that. The burning man, I, I guess... It, I'm not sure how you would know. A warning track is probably not right. We also need the pillar and the cross. The pillar of food. Pillar and the cross. Yeah, okay. So how would you how would you know? I can see it like um nuclear bomb, warning track, chalk outline of a body, biohazard, Skull and crossbones. All of these ones don't seem like they'd be very delicious. And then you also have like the lucky charm Easter egg kind of sounding thing. Maybe that's how you figure it out. I wonder if there's another way. It was mean to put that back in the bottle of the gin? Yeah, the lucky charm seems like it was just for fun. I think, I think anything works if you want to give them the wrong fruit. Or I wonder if you give them like the really, really, really wrong fruit. There's multiple paths through this game. I wonder if I just happened to give him a fruit that would make him like fall over. And you can also give him a really, really wrong fruit and piss him off. Really piss him off. Let me save over this one. Actually, actually, I just quick save so it doesn't matter. All right, let's give, use the fruit on the gin. You should do it in the right order. Does the order matter? It might be the order. We are still hungry. Feed us more of the dates of fasting. Oh, they're Patience, called the... Patience, I'll give you these dates I brought with me. Oh, they're called the dates of fasting. Well, the one is food. Pillar, cross, burning man, bread, star, and lotus. So those all involved we are still hungry. with Patience, fasting. We are still... Patience. Patience. We are still... Patience. It's a burning man fasting. We are still... Patient. Patient. Good man. You have fulfilled your part of the bargain. We shall now return to our bottle. It's a lot easier to just trick them. Hey, Viscaric, how you doing? What's up, I'm the Nats. Move the country without lucky charms. I mean, it doesn't really seem to matter which path you take. It leads you to the same thing. So now we put the tracer. Magnetic North is nearby. Must be obscured by something. Can I take the bottle now? Get it out of the way. Okay, now we have the gin bottle. Now we can put this where we want it to go. There, so now we got the resonance tracer there, so we can see where the uh, world key is, so we can go fix it and get Good this world work. out of stasis. With the information I've downloaded from the tracer, the resonance field is in place. Your direction finder will now aid you in finding the world key. Okay. Nice. We got the thing in place. Save, right? Okay, unfortunately, I have to go. I have to go. I would have kept playing. But I gotta go. I gotta go do Mother's Day stuff. Alright, let's find someone to raid. Thanks for watching today. We'll be back tomorrow and play Chrono Master. Probably a full day at Chrono Master tomorrow.
Thanks for watching today, everybody. Thank you. Follow all the socials, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. Hit the heart to follow. Hit the bell to turn on your Twitch notifications for the stream. Thank you. Let's find someone to raid. Thanks for supporting the stream. Give me the wrong fruit would kill you. I like seeing the deaths too. I like how this game has deaths. This game has a lot of the stuff I like in an adventure game and it's just is really cool. Hmm, who do we raid today? Should we raid? Mandy? Playing No Man's Sky. Let's raid Mandy playing No Man's Sky. All right, go, go hang out with Mandy playing No Man's Sky. Expedition mode. Sounds good, that's a pretty cool mode. Thanks for watching today, everyone. Yo, happy Mom's Day, Flan. Thank you, Nats, John B. Beauty, Resident Abby, Praximo, Troll. I'm a mother, yes, I am, Troll. Marty, Giant Beard, Jake, Zachary, thank you. Thanks, Zach. Happy Mother's Day. Hey, Steven, uh, thanks, Steven. Check who knows, Bum. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow morning. We'll play this tomorrow morning. Giant Beard, Cascon. This game is really cool. This game is really cool. Is this a long game? Let's look how long the walkthrough is, but don't read anything in the walkthrough. Oh yeah, this game is long. Okay. It seems pretty long. That was maybe, I want to say... Let's see. Maybe a tenth of it? Crazy. Alright. Thanks everyone. See you tomorrow. Take it easy. Later, Luna. Later, Nomas. John B. Booty Cure. Later.